Hey, what's going on everyone? We got the 3400-3500 hybrid pulled apart. We got the, the heads off. Uh, I'll give you guys a look at it here in a second. Plans for this engine. We are going to be trying to build a 300 horse all motor 3400. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully we can hit our goals. Uh, if we don't hit it right away, we're going to keep trying until we get there. So we're hoping to put down some good numbers with this engine once it goes into Trevor's car. So we'll uh, see how it goes. Alright, so here it is here. Got the heads off. Just got it covered up here. For now, looks pretty good inside. Basically, I just wiped off the one piston there just to see how they clean up. Didn't take much. So you see, he's got the the 99 and older 3400 timing chain. It's supposed to be the stronger one. I guess we'll find out. Hopefully, the same thing that happened to the last engine doesn't happen to this one. We are going to remove the dampener here and we're going to install a timing chain tensioner from a 3900. They bolt right on. Um, that will keep some tension on the chain at all times. So hopefully that helps it last a little longer. That way it's not slapping around at all. Like it uh, is a little bit there. So Just a little better design so we'll see how that works. Got to pull this cam out. This is the street strip. Wide open throttle tech cam. We are going to be installing Trevor's strip cam, uh, which is also made by Wide Open Throttle Tech. We figured that should get us to our 300 horsepower goal using that cam and the 3500 heads that uh, I have ported up for them. I'll show you the the heads and where we're at and what the next steps are here in a second. All right, so uh, this is the top end that came off the. 3400, 3500 hybrid. As you can see, everything's been uh, opened up fairly large. Same with the exhaust ports on the heads here. Intake ports been polished up a little bit. And the plenum's been uh, opened up quite a bit too to match the, the lower intake there. Figuring the setup that he had here was probably making around 240 250 horse going by online calculators and eighth mile ET times. He said he went 850 and a Cavalier in the eighth mile, so punch those numbers in with the approximate weight of a Cavalier, and he's comes up around a 242 horse, I believe it was. So he might have been making. 250. It depends on his mile an hour, really. He wasn't quite sure what his mile an hour was, so. Anyways, I figure once we get the other top end on, I uh, should be making a little bit more, and it's got a little more cam to it as well, so. I did end up pulling off the valve springs off a couple valves here. Just to take a look at the port work a little better. See uh, what kind of porting was done on them. I was kind of surprised to see that. Uh, Nothing was really touched in the port itself, in the important areas, in the bowls, so he probably could have made quite a bit more power than uh, what he was making. I'm going to clean these heads up a little bit more. I'm going to try to do some flow testing on them, see where they're at right now, and see if I can get some more out of them. Uh, most likely they'll be up for sale. If not, I'll save them for a project down the road or something. So just looking at that, I figure he's left quite a bit of power on the table. So, so I got one of Trevor's heads here. Now I got to pull these heads apart, get these bent valves out of here, and uh, see what kind of uh, damage was behind them, if any. All right, so I got the valves out of the first head here. Let's see, there's a couple issues. These two here. Uh, the other ones look all right. But uh, we'll see what the machine shop says. 
I'm going to send them some new valves and uh, see if we can save some of the old ones. So I got the other head stripped down here. Looks like there's only uh, two valves that are bent on this head as well, just from the visual. But uh, we'll find out more when we get them to the machine shop. Figured to show you guys a quick uh, visual of the porting that was done on these heads compared to the heads that came off the 3400. There's quite a bit of work done there. The R ones were a little more stock, so you can see the porting on the exhaust side here. The outlets on the port are a little more reasonable. Not nearly as uh, extreme. So we'll get these off to the machine shop. Get them cleaned up. Ready to go back on the engine. Hopefully get the engine here soon to my house so I can uh, start cleaning it all up and getting it ready to go together. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.